an excerpt from a letter composed on the 15th of ER, 5745, corresponding to May 6th, 1985, the day I came into this world, published in volume 39 of Shai Lusus Shuvas Asher Banachal, our teacher, Rabbi Eliezer Shlomo Shek of blessed memory, Mohoro Shakadosh, writes, And behold, just like there was in the generation of the flood, there was Noah's ark, that all who merited to enter it merited to be saved from the waters of the flood. And upon Noah it is written in Genesis chapter 5, verse 29, This one will comfort us. Likewise, in this generation, the Holy One, blessed be he, sent Rabbeinu Zal to the world, wherein he built Noah's ark which is the Ark of Prayer. And one who merits to enter it, he is thereby saved from heresies and apostasy and from the filth of Pagam Habris. It is upon you to know that we are found in this generation in a very, very corrupted generation. And if it were not for the counsel of Rabbi Nuzal, we could drown in the sea of lusts and wicked traits. Rabbi Nuzal draws upon us God's compassion. Rabbi Nuzal reveals to us in the Kutimoran part one, lesson 64, that God brings his compassion in the world for he desires to reveal his compassion. And if he did not create the world, upon whom would he show his compassion? And therefore God created the cosmos from the beginning of the world of Atsilus to the lowest central point of the physical world in order to show his compassion. And for this sake, God created man in this physical world filled with klipos and wicked lusts in order to awaken upon God's compassion. My brother, my precious brother, it is upon you to know that Rabbi Nuzal cried out in a voice from the very depths, there is no despair in the world at all. And even those that have fallen into the pit are still yet able to come close to God, for there is no despair in the world at all. See Likuti Moran, part two, lesson 78. Therefore, given the enormous yearning awakened within you to return to God, and you've merited to acquaint yourself with Rabbi Nuzal, it is fitting for you to rejoice very, very much, and do not become discouraged in your mind, for in certainty through Rabbi Nuzal you will come to your tikkun in ultimate completion. The first thing, it is a major foundation of Rabbi Nuzal, that it is fitting for a person to enter his ark, which is Noah's ark, which is the ark of prayer. Namely, that it is fitting for every Jew to accustom oneself to go to a special place where there are no other people and speak a great deal with God telling him everything one is going through in the utmost detail as when a person talks with his friend and reveal before God all the secrets of his heart. It's true that initially this matter will be very, very difficult for due to a person's abundant sins and the damage of his actions, this matter is difficult for him because it appears to him that no one is watching him, that no one sees him. And it is upon you to know, my beloved one, my precious brother, that not a single word gets lost for each and every word that you speak with God is engraved above. And when the structure that you must enter within becomes completed, then an exceedingly awesome and wondrous light will descend upon you and you will feel the truth of God's reality and all the klipos you created because of your sins will be burned from you. Therefore, my beloved one, my precious brother, see to fulfill this and to speak with God a very great deal. And do not look upon any creation in the world. Be diligent in this matter, day in and day out, to speak with God in the language you are accustomed to, in your mother tongue, and then you will see wonders.